So I can tell you coming to the den, uh, I promise people three things. First, the, the look of the den. I mean, you really feel like once you walk into the den and the doors are closed, you feel like you are transported to a, an omakase experience in, in one of the best omakase places in Tokyo. Just look and feel wise. Then comes the actual food, which is, uh, you know, painstakingly, uh, the, the chef painstakingly trains his team and is on top of them with everything. The freshness of the fish, which we fly in uh, from the Toyosu market in Tokyo. Uh, they butcher it daily. Uh, the rice has to be at the right temperature. Believe it or not, the importance of rice in the omakase experience is something that is of the utmost importance. Sometimes even more important than the fish itself because you have to have the right uh, consistency of the rice and you also have need, need the right balance of vinegar as well as the, you need to serve it as the right temperature. Uh, all that combined with the freshness of the fish makes the omakase experience an incredible one. And then the third aspect is the service. Uh, I mean, you are going to experience such an elevated kind of service and this, the servers, how they communicate with the chefs and how everything is coordinated. I call it chef theater. It's, it's just an incredible experience. So what sets us apart between any other omakase in Miami and, and the den here at Azabu Miami Beach is that our omakase is a traditional Edomai style omakase. Edomai style omakase uses uh, uh, different techniques than just traditional omakase. Basically we use pickling techniques, use of vinegar, marination techniques. This all started in the Edo period in Japan. Edo is the old name of Tokyo and it started in the 19th century. So believe it or not, before the 19th century, there was no nigiri or sushi in Japan. And how it started was, was the fish vendors would bring their fish to uh, the stalls where people were selling fish. And those people that were selling fish in their stalls would, would have rice ready. But the issue was they didn't know how to keep the fish, the, the fish very fresh and they started experimenting with different techniques, meaning uh, some pickling techniques, the use of vinegar, aging, and torching. And when they became successful with, with, with the use of these techniques, that became the traditional Edomai style sushi that we know today. You know, fresh fish is, is great when it's over rice, but not every fresh fish is meant to be in just fresh. You know, some are meant to be torched, which enhances the, what we call the uh, umami effect in the fish. Some are meant to be pickled and they taste much better. Some are meant to be aged and that is what we use here in the den and what sets us apart from anybody else.